Hello all, welcome to my channel. Today I will be explaining food exchange system and how to plan the diet by using food exchange list. So firstly we will see what is food exchange system. In the food exchange system, foods with a similar amount of calories per serving are grouped together. And food exchange list consists of food items that are grouped into different categories as per the specific measure of nutritional composition. Depending on uh, uh, which food sources are rich in nutrients, they are grouped depending on the similar composition of the foods. The foods within each list can be exchanged for one another during meal planning. When you plan the meal, the food, uh, the foods, various foods in the exchange list can be exchanged, exchanged in order to get the same uh, nutrient composition. So, for example, if uh, we are have, uh, exchanging with the idlis and chapatis, one idli can be exchanged for one uh, chapatis. So any food, any food within the given list, in the food exchange list, within that given list, it can be substituted for any other in the list that provides approximately the same nutritive value. For the similar nutritive value, the list of the item can be exchanged or substituted with one another. So why food exchange list is important? For meal planning, food exchange list uh, is very essential and very easy and uh, practical to follow uh, the food exchange. The exchange system makes the diet planning more practical, flexibly, uh, flexible, uh, uh, flexibility will be more simple and has an advantage of comparing well in the energy and other content protein content with the detailed calculation by using the composition list so always goal of food exchange list is help the people to follow various diets and diet uh, planning or following should not become a difficult task so by using food exchange list varieties of the foods can be exchanged with one another in order to make diet more flexible so eating habits have a wider range of healthy options. It is most beneficial for the patient who are suffering from the diabetes. In most of the diabetes centers for the diabetic patient food, uh, the diet is prescribed in terms of exchange list or by following the raw exchanges or by using cooked exchange list. So diet focus on the meals can also be hard to oblige when there are the fewer options. So if we are providing by using exchange list, varieties of the items will be more. So hence uh, they can exchange the foods easily and plan it easily. It is easier and more intensivizing when the list includes variety as well as health. With this system, Nutritionally balanced diet can be easily planned by choosing adequate amount of exchanges from each group. So each group means groups are divided again as per the concept of balanced diet. So if we look at the category of uh, food groups, uh, uh, cereals are there, pulses are pulses, milk and uh, flesh exchange that is meat and uh, sugar like this different uh, six different categories have been made uh, in in the exchange list hence more importance is uh, more importance is given on the portion size of the food so firstly we will see what is in the cereal exchange list so cereals provides uh, most of our ca calories we get from the cereals so as per Balanced diet 60 to 65 percent of the calories one uh, are deriving from the cereals. So cereals 
for one portion that is for the uh, raw weight 30 gram for the 30 gram which is the cooked portion of the foods are listed here so uh, one portion provides or one exchange provides 100 kilocalories 3 grams of protein 21 grams of carbohydrate and 0.4 grams of fat so different uh, cereal list is there uh, wheat the whole wheat cereal rice cornflakes quinoa oats vermicelli millets bread semolina ragi jawar flour uh, like this uh, items are there which are for the this particular amount of portion size nextly the pulse exchange pulse exchange also provides the same calories 100 calories 17 grams of uh, carbohydrate 7 grams of protein and 0.5 grams of fat so pulses are usually good sources of protein so here you can see urad dal chana dal green gram dal moong dal red uh, red gram dal bengal gram dal horse different uh, horse grams are there so all they are in the rough value they are providing 30 grams and in the cooked portion if we compare that is coming up to half cup provides 100 calories so milk exchange list so buffalo milk cow's milk curd skim milk cheese buttermilk are there the raw weights 45 ml which is uh, less than uh, one cup uh, i mean half cup provides the energy 50 calories 3 grams of carb 2.5 grams of protein and 3.5 grams of fat so by this is by comparing with the common measures so this is in the grams and common measures half cup 2 by 3 cups and uh, like that so meat exchange one exchange or one uh, portion one portion that is 50 gram provides 70 kilocalories a negligible amount of carbs 11 grams of protein and 3 grams of fat which is coming up to half cup so different uh, meat exchanges are there chicken beef fish egg white egg whole beef prawn and roots and tuber exchange in the vegetable exchange category carrots are there carrot potato onion radish sweet potato so usually uh, fruits and vegetables uh, have uh, provides the less kilo calories per gram of or per portion so 100 grams of carrots providing 40 kilocalories 100 grams of fat of carbs 0 grams of fat and 1 gram of protein so this uh, is a cooked weight or common uh, uh, cups measurement is there other vegetables which we commonly used are broad beans cluster beans peas cabbage bitter gourd cauliflower brinjal raw weight is there so broad beans for 90 grams or when it is cooked half cup provides 50 calories and 10 grams of carbohydrate fruits fruit exchange some commonly used fruits I have listed energy is 70 45 kilocalories 10 grams of carbohydrate and negligible amount of fat and 1 gram of protein apple one medium sized or which is weighing up to 75 grams or half of the apple half of the apple provides these many nutrients musk melon the four thin slices mango one slice one slice provides 45 kilocalories banana half of the banana provides 45 calories like this uh, different uh, fruit exchanges are there now sugar 
5 grams that is equivalent to 1 teaspoon provides 20 kilocalories 5 grams of uh, carbs and protein and a negligible amount of protein and fat sugar jaggery honey sugar cane and jam is there so fats and oil exchange butter uh, 6 gram that is 1 1 teaspoon 1 teaspoon so all these are the energy derived for 1 uh, teaspoon and uh, provides 45 kilocalories 5 grams of fat negligible amount of protein and carbohydrate so now these uh, all these are the different exchange lists now what are the steps involved in the planning the diets so firstly uh, we have to divide the number of meals in the throughout day so for uh, planning uh, balanced diet one need to see the recommended dietary allowances is the first step we need to know the requirement of the nutrients before we plan the diet so next we have to refer the food list make the food list and we can do the uh, calculations by using the uh, two things so what is what is two things one is by using icmr table after planning the diet one need to do the calculation in the previous video i have uh, made a video on how to plan the nutritive value of some commonly used foods by like that by using icmr table that is nutritive value table one can do the uh, one, one can do the calculations or calories can be uh, listed by using the exchange list so and always it should follow the concept of balanced diet if the diet is planned on the balanced diet if they are providing the or uh, it is uh, they are meeting the requirement of calories protein and carbohydrate and fat definitely all the micronutrient requirement will be met through that particular diet now we will see how to plan the diet by using exchange list so firstly for doing exchange list we have seen the exchange list in the previous slides so we have to decide the exchange lists so in brief whatever whatever we have seen no, that is uh, clubbed together in the uh, different food groups cereals and millets so for one portion 30 gram is one ex one one portion provides 100 calories 3 grams of protein 20 grams of fat and 0.8 grams of fat pulse eggs meat chicken fish milk and milk products roots and tubers green leafy vegetables other vegetables fruits sugar fats and oils all these exchanges we have seen detailedly in the previous slides the same is there or clubbed together approximate values are given and the portion size is also given here so this is very important to make the uh, diet planning by using exchange list so after knowing the portion size of the particular foods now you need you should be knowing pulse means 30 eggs means 50 uh, meat chicken fish one exchange means 50 gram milk and milk products roots tubers green leafy vegetable other vegetables fruits so all these are one exchange means the weight of the particular food will be 100 gram and sugar one exchange is 5 gram fats and oils one exchange is again 5 gram so uh, for the adults for the adults if we see depending on the physical activity calorie calorie requirement varies sedentary moderate and heavy so as per the concept of balanced diet so what uh, what one need to know is you know this cereal and millet means 30 gram is one exchange so the person who is con who is sedentary and sedentary man requires 12.5 exchanges of cereals per day 
பல்ஸ் எக்ஸ்சேஞ்சஸ் பர் டே மில்க் அண்ட் மில்க் ப்ராடக்ட்ஸ் த்ரீ எக்ஸ்சேஞ்ச் ரூட்ஸ் டூ எக்ஸ்சேஞ்ச் கிரீன் லீஃபி வெஜிடபிள் ஒன் அதர் வெஜிடபிள் டூ ஃப்ரூட்ஸ் ஒன் சுகர் ஃபோர் ஃபேட்ஸ் ஃபைவ் அண்ட் பேஸ்ட் ஒன்ஸ் இஃப் யூ நோ திஸ் ஒன்ஸ் இஃப் யூ நோ திஸ் யூ கேன் கன்வெர்ட் தீஸ் எக்ஸ்சேஞ்சஸ் இன்டு ரெசிபீஸ் ஸோ டோட்டல் நம்பர் ஆஃப் ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் டோட்டல் நம்பர் ஆஃப் சீரியல் எக்ஸ்சேஞ்சஸ் வில் பி டுவெல் பாயிண்ட் ஃபைவ் டுவெல் பாயிண்ட் ஃபைவ் மீன்ஸ் இன் ஈச் ஆஃப் த மீல்ஸ் யூ கேன் கிவ் த்ரீ த்ரீ எக்ஸ்சேஞ்சஸ் பிரேக்ஃபாஸ்ட் த்ரீ லன்ச் த்ரீ ஸ்நாக்ஸ் த்ரீ அண்ட் டின்னர் த்ரீ இன்க்ளூடிங் ஆல் த ஆல் த மீல்ஸ் ஆஃப் த டே தட் இஸ் கம்மிங் அரவுண்ட் டுவெல் லைக் தட் இட் கேன் பி எக்ஸ்சேஞ்சஸ் கேன் பி டிவைடெட் இன்டு நம்பர் ஆஃப் மீல்ஸ் நவ் இட் கேன் ஃபுட் தட் can also be prescribed in terms of cooked exchange you can also prepare this food uh, cooked exchange list by measuring the values comparing the values of the ingredients before cooking and after cooking and prepare uh, calculate the nutrient value and convert it to 100 gram 100 100 kilo calories and exchange list can be prepared so i am using i am showing whatever the cooked exchange list is from the dietetics book by b shri lakshmi so here in the food cooked exchange uh, direct recipes are there direct recipes are there only calories and uh, proteins they have mentioned and uh, fats and other things may be added if additionally uh, we are using anything more then additional uh, fats or sugars may be calculated by using icmr table so here also different uh, cereal exchange all the cereal recipes are there pulse exchange commonly used pulse exchanges pulse recipes are there meat uh, exchange under that also some commonly used uh, recipes they have mentioned milk exchange vegetables and fruit exchanges so all these are uh, deriving 100 kilo calories per exchange and the num- pro- portion of the protein varies here for milk it is 4.5 4.5 grams of protein 100 kilo calories of energy this is for portion size is 1 katori 1 katori is approximately 150 ml meat exchanges 5 gram of protein is there and for the uh, cereal exchange it is 1.5 to 3.5 uh, grams of protein is there so one example we will see here by how to plan the uh, menus how to plan the meal by using cooked exchange list so if we are planning the breakfast we have to firstly select the items select the items so idli sambar milk and orange based on the age we have to decide this so in the entire day adult man should consume 12 exchanges of cereal so if i am providing two here then remaining 10 exchanges will be there that we have to plan in the lunch snacks and dinner like that it can be planned so in example idlis so one idli is one exchange one idli providing 100 kilo calories of energy and 3 grams of protein as per the exchange list which i have shown previously so idli sambar one exchange milk one exchange and orange or apple any fruit any fruit is in one exchange so here idlis as i have taken two exchange so 200 kilo calories and 6 grams of protein so one exchange provides 3 3 plus 3 is 6 so sambar provides one exchange of sambar provides 100 kilo calories of energy and 3 grams of 
protein similarly milk so like this we have to plan the remaining meals of the day in order to know the total number of the to total amount of the uh, energy total amount of the energy and protein so if it is meeting the rda then it, it, it is balanced so always by using exchange list will be very easy and varieties of the uh, foods can be added in the recipes and all all the nutritions uh, nutritionist can prescribe the diet by using the exchange list I hope this video was useful. Thank you.